Good day, engineers. So for this video, we will be discussing about the lateral earth pressure, which is yung active condition naman. So from our previous video, nandun tayo sa at rest earth condition, which is yung retaining wall natin is restrained from yielding and also our retaining wall is rigid. Ibig sabihin, yung soil natin is walang movement. So ang nire-resist lang mismo na pressure ng ating retaining wall is yung mismong soil na nagsisiksikan sila to occupy the space within dun sa retaining wall natin na kinocover niya. So for uh, the concept naman ng, at, uh, ng active condition ng soil for its lateral earth pressure. So as you can see, ang type ng failure niya dito is expansion. Meaning, yung soil is naglulus. So, ibig sabihin, may chances na yung some other parts of the soil is hihiwalay dun sa ibang particles. So, ang tendency ng retaining wall natin, if you have this retaining wall shown, so, kung nagkakaroon ng expansion yung soil natin, so, kung nasa left side niya, yung retaining wall which is itong retaining wall AB as you can see kung mag fail siya under expansion so ang tendency niya is yung retaining wall will yield outward so ito yung failure ng retaining wall mag yield siya outward so kasi nga naglulus na yung soil so bumababa yung soil papunta doon then another case na or another tendency of our retaining wall since nasa left side siya nung soil natin na nag-expand so the tendency is to rotate counterclockwise So, ibig sabihin, kung nasa right side naman yung retaining wall natin, kung nandito siya na part, ang tendency niya is mag-yield clockwise. So, baliktad lang since nandun sa kabilang side yung retaining wall natin. So, for this one, nasa left side kasi. So, it rotate counterclockwise. So, syempre dito sa active earth condition ng soil natin nandun pa rin or present pa rin yung stresses which are the effective vertical stress and yung mismong lateral earth pressure which is the lateral earth stress so kung meron tayong soil element na kukunin sa mismong soil natin so syempre yung sigma prime b pa rin is mag act dun sa horizontal plane and yung horizontal earth pressure or yung mismong lateral earth pressure will act on the vertical planes. So, kung i-compare natin yung active condition dun sa pa, uh, at rest condition ng soil natin, since yung at rest condition is walang movement, it occupies just the space nung ah uh, na kinocover ng retaining wall natin syempre doon nagsisiksikan yung particles nagagawan sila ng position to occupy the space so ibig sabihin doon papasok yung lateral earth pressure ngayon the tendency of the soil in the active condition naman is to lose ibig sabihin may chances na may plane dyan kagaya ng pinapakita sa inyo ng figure na to may plane dyan na biglang maglulus yung soil. So, ang tendency, magsaslide siya or babagsak siya palabas. So, since nagkakaroon ng loose or expansion dun sa soil, ang tendency, compared to at rest condition, bumababa yung possible na lateral earth na iproduce niya. Kasi nga, naglulus na yung soil mo. 
or nag-expand yung soil. So, ang tendency, yung lateral earth pressure from the at rest condition, yung dating hindi gumagalaw yung retaining wall and hindi gumagalaw yung soil, ang tendency na ngayon is gumalaw siya pero naglulus so mababawasan yung lateral earth pressure natin and for this one comparing their pressure diagram so ito as you can see from the part na ito yung buo na at rest condition nung soil na pressure diagram ngayon upon having an active state or an active condition for its lateral earth pressure or nagkaroon na ng expansion dun sa soil ang tendency na ngayon ng pressure diagram is lumiit so ito siya so ibig sabihin may nawalang stress galing sa kanya and from this diagram we can also conclude na yung sigma prime O is much greater than our sigma prime A. So, dito din, masasabi natin na yung Ka is also lesser than 1.0. Kasi nga, mas malaki na si K sub O. Mas malaki sa kanya si K sub O or mas malaki sa kanya si sigma prime O. Siyempre, si KO lesser than 1. So, ibig sabihin, si KA lesser than 1 din. Pero, yung active earth coefficient natin dito is mas maliit compared kay K sub O. So, yun yung tendency ng active earth condition and nung at rest earth condition so papaliitin niya yung soil or papaliitin niya yung lateral earth pressure kasi nga nagkaroon na ng expansion dun sa soil or naglulus na yung ibang particles nung soil so that is the tendency nung uh, soil natin and nung retaining wall tsaka yung lateral earth pressure for the active condition ngayon syempre itong plane na to yan nga yung failure plane natin kasi dyan magfe-fail yung soil mo. So, as you can see, the angle of the failure plane for the active condition is a value theta which is 45 plus phi over 2. So, as you can see, yung value niya is plus kasi nga nag-yield outward na yung retaining wall. So, ang tendency, madadagdagan yung angle nito. Kaya plus phi over 2 yung ating angle of failure plane for this one. And also, para mas makita nyo kung paano lumiit lalo yung stresses dun sa ating act, uh, active condition from our at rest earth pressure meron tayo ditong more column failure diagram so as you can see kung ito yung naplot natin from our first video na more circle for our at rest earth condition so syempre ang minimum principal stress doon si sigma prime O and our maximum principal stress is yung effective vertical stress ngayon, since may chances na same sila, let's say, kasi nga, pare sila ng height. For example, ito, at a height or at a depth Z. Siyempre, parehas yan ng height. So, ito yun. At a depth Z. Siyempre, pare sila ng height on the active and at rest condition. So, ang tendency, pare sila ng effective stress. So, dito din mag -e end yung effective stress or yung maximum principal nung ating active condition. Pero, sabi nga natin, mas liliit siya compared dun kay uh, at rest earth condition. So, ang active condition natin is papunta na dun sa may mas maliit na condition, which is ito na yung sigma prime A or yung active condition natin. So, as you can see, yung circle 
nung active condition is may may mas malaking diameter compared dun sa uh, sigma prime o natin or yung at rest condition kasi nga mas may ibinaba pa yung stress nung uh, active condition natin and as you can see yung deviator stress nila dito which is delta sigma mas maliit palalo or mas lumit palalo from our effective stress to the active condition kasi nga yung ka natin is much more lesser than kasi ang tendency nito dahil dun sa k or yung pressure coefficient yung ka kasi natin is much lesser than our k sub o so yun yung concept nung active earth condition So that is all for this concept on the active earth condition. So for our next video, we will be deriving the equation for the active earth condition. So again, this is Engineer Rodolfo. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Butch TV.